Today we're doing another Atlanta Brick Co. store tour. We do these twice a week on Tuesdays and Fridays at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you so much for joining. We got Gary, we got Morgan, we got Recurring Awesome. Ahoy hoy. We're all young at heart here. Absolutely, Morgan. That's like a slogan. That's, that's great. Brad P's here. I saw a bunch of our other friends chatting earlier too. We got Dan Smith, Diana, uh, let's see, we've got Grumpy J was here, Will Lamb, T Valkyrie, Hoser's here too. Thank you so much for joining. Yes, I, I, I think I'm gonna have to join the WWE as Bonkle Man. It sounds like a great start to my career. Let's see here. Judge Free Zone, absolutely, that's us. I mean, just surrounded by a child's toy. Taking it very seriously, and we love it. So. <laughs> Wait, where's the Judge Free Zone? Judge Free Zone? I don't know. Is it back here? I mean, it better be back here. There's a lot of. Yes, right here. Is that? Okay. <laughs> we actually got a lot of trade in. That's what uh, Chris, Grant, Andy, and uh, Stephen is actually building something over there. But everybody else is working on the trade stuff that we got in. Got ATATs. We got Star Wars ships. We got modulars. There's a corner garage over there. There's Tegan. Hello. Good to see you, Tegan. There's AZ Dave dropping the Daniel emoji. <laughs> He's busy working, but he had a chance to give us the iconic look. What What is the name of that look there, Daniel? Because there's Blue Steel, there's... Uh, we got to think of a name for your... Know, I'll come up with something. <laughs> the Awu? Red Steel? Red Steel, no? I'll figure something out. Yeah. Look at all the trades. Yes, I know, T-Belk is a lot. Do you have any new LEGO Friends characters? I, I own several of them, but I haven't opened the box to build them yet. I was actually building one of my Belleville sets that I got uh, last night. That was pretty exciting. So. Oh, is BJ here too? BJ was in the store earlier. There he is. It's good to see BJ. Had a little chat. Is Pastor Michael in today? Yes, he is. Let's go say hi to Pastor Michael here. Yeah, he's definitely not at all related to the fact that you're There he is. There's that youth, youth pastor, Michael. <laughs> I don't know. Will Lamb is not going to let that die. I think everyone else has let it slide, but. Let it die. <laughs> oh, good grief. Yes, the one with the mushroom, Henry. I think you were commenting on my YouTube channel earlier. That's the one. Enjoyed the video on the trip to the Lego house. Oh, that's great, Easy Dave. Yeah, Daniel and Steven had quite the adventure. And Chloe says hi. Hi, Chloe. Hope you're having a great day. Let's see. I just drove back, back from ABC. I've got work to do and then picking up barbecue for dinner. That sounds really good, BJ. I mean, not work to do, but be, uh, barbecue for dinner sounds great. Already more than halfway to 40 likes. That's great, Johnny Flounder. <laughs> it's great, even though I'll have to wear the Nexo armor. No, I actually love wearing the Nexo armor. That means we've gotten a good amount of likes, so. Yes, I want the cap, but they seem to be really rare. Yeah, some of the Belleville sets can be hard to find. They're only from like the early 2000s, which were kind of patchy years for Lego sets. Is there a Resistance A-Wing, a green one? Let's see here, Grumpy J. Let's check on that. I did see uh, some Jedi Interceptors. I don't see a Resistance A-Wing over here. I see Yoda's Starfighter. This looks like an ARC-170 there. That's a really nice ship. I don't see the uh, resistance A-wing now. I don't see any A-wings. Can we see the city? We sure can, Tegan. Oh, there's Sam Williamson. Happy Mario Day, everyone. Yeah, today is Mario Day. Was anyone able to catch the Mario uh, reveal that happened on Lego's YouTube channel earlier? I didn't. I, I won't spoil it for anyone, but it was, it was, it was pretty exciting. By the way, Jessica broke up with me. Oh no, Will Lamb, I'm sorry about that. That's terrible. Whose barbecue joint you go to, BJ? That's a good question. I am always looking for a good barbecue joint. So here is the city. Let me hit the lights really quick. Dinner sounds good, barbecue. I don't, I don't know why, but I'm hungry this afternoon. I had Chick-fil-A for lunch and that's usually pretty good. So the lights in the city are looking really good. BBQ is known as B-R-A-A-I. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it sounds very cool, Sarah. Now you will have more Lego money, <laughs> Will. There you go. <laughs> That's a good way of looking at it, recurring awesome. Dawson's here. Good to see you, Dawson. Say hi to Steven for us in New Zealand. Will do, Tegan. I'll let him know. Uh, Tegan and Chloe said hi. Oh, here's some pro progress over here. 
We've got uh, the beginnings of a Friends-themed building over here, next to Jersey Mike's. Could you do a close-up of my fig and son? Absolutely, AZ Dave. Let's do that really quick here. You zoom in here. There you guys are. I see there's a little bit of like dust or litter there next to you. I have to clean that up. That's you guys. I think that's either Sam Williamson's figure here or it's over here. There's some very similar Jedi, or excuse me, Sith figures hanging out in the city. Maybe they're gonna start a, a club. There's T Valkyrie and Grumpy J and Josiah and a few of our friends hanging out over here too. Rick Lore. Bubblicious BBQ down here in Orlando area is outstanding. Oh, I'll have to uh, visit them when I'm down there, Brad P. That sounds good. My go-to is Fox Bros BBQ, which is one of my experience. One of the best in the world. I've eaten barbecue all over the USA. There you go, BJ. I know BJ is a very well-traveled man, so he would know good barbecue. So. Lego City train sets and Lego City police. We can look at that. How can you go home without an armload of Lego? <laughs> I know, it's hard. It's hard when I work here. So that's the dark side of the city. I think it is, Morgan. With your lightsaber, you better stay on the other side of the city. <laughs> you could get into a lightsaber duel pretty easily over there. Yep, thanks for the snapshot. You're welcome. All right, let's go look at Lego trains and uh, Lego city police over here too. That's a grumpalicious fig there next to Dennis. Absolutely, they're hanging out. They're about to get some Jersey Mike's, which is pretty good. Randy loves Jersey Mike's, so we put that in there kind of for her. So. All righty, here's a bunch of random city sets. There's a fire station right here. There's a hospital. Always need more Lego hospitals and Lego banks. Really need Lego banks right now. Maybe they'll listen and build some. There's a police station right here. Looks pretty good. It's a pretty good size. It also has that uh, play feature to blow up. Let's see, there's an express passenger train up here. That's one of the slightly newer ones. It's pretty cool. What's the price on this one? Should be retail. 190 Gotcha. Nice loop of track as well. It's pretty good. So what's funny is, to Americans, or people in the United States, the uh, Lego trains don't look very much like the trains we have here, mostly big cargo trains. But if you go to Europe, all the trains look like that. So they're very realistic for European customers of Lego. That's what uh, Stephen and Daniel were saying on the last podcast we did a while back. So keep that in mind when you're buying your Lego trains. They're probably based off of European designs. There's a police station here. I'm guessing the police stations are more based on USA designs, but I could be wrong. There's another big police station up there. Police station over here. There's a prison island set over here, a mountain police set. They've made a lot of police stations. We have most of them here on display. We need a CN rail train, that'd be cool. We need a monorail, that's what we need. I'd love to see some monorail again. It has been too long. Any Xbox One Lego Dimensions starter portal set? We can check on that, Scott, that's a good question. I saw one other one's here. Western, ah, oh, Willem, I wish we had some Western for you today. Unfortunately, I think we're still out. I know you and Scott Robinson are big fans of Western. We've got a couple Western figures available, but I think that's about it. And that's pretty much the same as it was last time we did one. There's a little Pharaoh's Quest hiding back there too, but not too much. The day some Western shows up, we will be so happy on the stream, I'm sure. Speaking of build mistakes, LEGO always presents fire trucks with blue lights and we don't use blue lights on fire trucks in the US. Not really. I think stunts is pretty great and underrated. Me too, recurring awesome. I love stunts, they're awesome. I am waiting for a portal, <laughs> portal loop. There you go. Oh dear, let's see. When I finally get a membership, my figure will have a LEGO Minecraft mountain cave. There you go. The banks are failing, yeah. The, the Lego banks in Lego City are failing. Alrighty, where were we? Portal and Lego Lockin is here. Good to see you, Lego Lockin. Thanks for joining us. Dan Smith says, how is Minecraft? Let's look at that on the way to, what are we looking for? Dimensions, which is going to be around the corner here. We moved it. So Xbox 360, but not Xbox One. Let's see if there's anything else back here. Another 360. There's one back there too. 
360. So we got three Xbox 360s, two PlayStation 3s over here, a Wii U. I don't think anybody really uses the Wii U that much anymore. So don't know if we have Xbox Ones right now. A good way to check would be on our website. We might have some that are not on display in the store area here now. So check on that for us, Scott. If it's not on the website, then we probably don't have it in stock right now. So Mark, with Angie leaving ABC, are we going to see any updates to the Winter Village? Would also like a video of John Snyder's LEGO collection. Oh, we could probably do John Snyder's. I know that um, Angie's gonna be taking a break from her Winter Village for a while. She just felt like it was, you know, taking a bit of time. She wanted to, you know, take a, take a pause on it. So we probably won't see any of that in the near future. But uh, I'll reach out to John and see if he wants to show off his collection. I know it's kind of, uh, it's consolidated in his bedroom, so it's maybe not very uh, presentable, but we'll see. I'll, I'll see what he's up to. So I know you'll be seeing more of me and Steven's collections, also uh, Ethan's collection. He has a very big collection. And uh, we're going to talk to some of our friends on the north side in Peach Lug about their collections, too. So we'll be doing a lot more cool videos of that nature very soon. Using the gimbal and the microphones, so it should be pretty cool. Minecraft is looking a little full right now, actually. We got plenty of Minecraft sets. How do you guys sell rare pieces? Oh, so Lego Luck, and we do have a Bricklink uh, store on our um, on Bricklink, and then we also sell rare pieces by the individual piece on our website as well. So a lot of these, um, you know, rare color pieces like these. are going to be for sale on our website. So you can find rare pieces like that on our website. And um, we do sell them in the store too. If you ask about a specific piece, we can look for it. Sometimes if we're super busy, we aren't able to get around to it though. Mark, do you need to come in and buy some Minecraft? I, we might, Lemur Bricks. It's getting pretty full. I think that's a good thing though. We want to have a good selection of sets here. The snow hideout that has a snowman. That's pretty cool. I think that's a mob that shoots snowballs at other mobs. That's pretty nice. I like this set. $9.99. Very affordable. I think it has two and a half figures. It's got some gold weapons and some puffer fish. So you have the classic Star Wars flash beater. The little green one from episode one. The one was my favorite sets as a kid. Oh, I don't know if we still have that one. Let's see. $44 for the Sword Outpost. This is a pretty cool set. I love the colors. There's a little Alay Flying Guy, too. That's awesome. Got a pig. And you got the Enchanted Trident. Very nice. Alrighty. Hogwarts Castle. We've got some of those behind us, Brother Steve. We can look at those. I think I bought that, that green Flash Beater. Oh, well, <laughs> we'll check on that, Morgan. I'm pretty sure it's a good chance it could have sold. We'll check on that in just a moment. Hogwarts Castle... We got num a number of Hogwarts related builds already built here. We got uh, Harry Potter and Hermione. Got the Astronomy Tower. Got uh, several of those. Those were kind of on sale for a while. What's this over here? Is this another Astronomy Tower? Dumbledore's office. That's cool. This is the Clock Tower. Darn it, Morgan. How big is your collection? If we ever get over to California, we'll have to say hi to both. Morgan and um, Geology Joe and everybody else over there, too. Because uh, I don't think I've ever even been that far west. So. There's the Whomping Willow. I think we have two versions of the Whomping Willow. There's the Shrieking Shack as well. That's a pretty cool set. So a number of great Harry Potter sets. But let's go look at the uh, green Flash Speeder. Ho, ho, hold on. I think you were looking for this one, Grumpy Jay. Is that right? This is the Resistance A-Wing. Is that correct? Because this is a $20 resist resistance A-wing right here, I believe. And 20% off of that, too. All right, let's look for green flash beater. Hold on. This isn't it, is it? That might not be it. That is a green speeder, but I don't know if that's the same one we're talking about. I, sometimes my Star, uh, Star Wars knowledge is not as strong as it should be. Let's see. Where are we on comments? The band hammer is strong today. Did Morgan take somebody out while I was monologuing it? <laughs> I 
I keep I I need to use Brickset.com to keep track of my collection. Exactly. That is a good resource, Morgan. I always forget to set that up for myself. Leviathan Pictures, who's Levi, is here. What's up? Good to see you, Levi. Oh, there's another smaller A-Wing right there. That is $20 as well. I think that's a little smaller size than the one we looked at prior. Very cool. <laughs> Got a FA, FFA competition Monday, so we all wish me luck. Will do, Will Lamb. Best of luck in your competition. Dibs, you got it, Grumpy J. Let me uh, tell them over there. Can we see the Nexonite sets that you love? <laughs> like a lock, and how could you? I don't love Nexonites. You should know that. I think that's like Lego Fact 101. Mark hates Nexonites. All right, all right, let's go. That is the updated one. Oh, okay, recurring awesome. At least it was similar. I was on the right track. I think that's the only green flash speeder we have right now, though. There's some cool speeders, but not the same one I think we're looking for. Oh, and Grumpy J, if that one doesn't work for you, we have another one right here. This one is 30, and I don't know why it's a little bit more. I believe it's the same build. Right. Oh, so, um, Grant, there's one over here, too, if you're looking for the green flash, uh, um, excuse me. Oh, yeah. And there's one over here, too. Oh. So, well, there's three of them. That's crazy. I think Grumpy J called to buy one, too, because he needs one. Alrighty. Where was I going? Nexonites. <laughs> Why? Hit the like button. Almost to 40 already. That's awesome, guys. We're only barely uh, 16, 17 minutes in. That's a great like count. Thank you, guys. If you want to hit a few more likes, we can get to 40, no problem, I think. We got uh, 50 people watching. Ah, oh, Nexonites. Everybody. Everybody loves Nexonites except me. My college roommate carefully preserved his Atari 2600 and kept it hooked up and operational. Of course, back then it was less, still less than 20 years old. Exactly. Wow, that's crazy, Brad P. Oh, no, excuse me, BJ, BJ. No, Mark likes High School Musical, the Nexa Musical. Oh, no, not that one. Lego Friends, that's a good, uh, good suggestion there. Will, uh, excuse me, I almost said Willem. Lemur Bricks. Will Lamb was talking about High School Musical. Nexo armor and Bonkle mask, only for the parts. Yep, well, so the Bonkle mask, I have to hold onto my face, so I don't think I could do that. But we are hoping to put some, like, elastic strap on the back so that I can wear it, which would be hilarious, and that might be an even further stretch goal than the armor. We're at, we're past 40 likes, though, so I'm gonna have to head over there and get the Nexo armor. Alrighty, let's head over there. 43 legs, defeated in less than 18 minutes. Can't believe it. How's it going, Landon? Alright, let's see if one of our many employees can hold the gimbal while I go get my Nexo armor. Uh -oh, you want, you want to hang on to this, Garrett? Here you go. Can do. I'll give that to you. Okay. Oh, slowly turning. All right. Getting used to that gimbal. There we are. Let's get ready for the moment of glory. Oh, the moment of glory. Da, 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 da. Magnificent. Thank you very much, Garrett. Appreciate it. Boom. <laughs> Trash armor. <laughs> Thanks, Will Lamb. You're the only one who understands me. Oh. He's getting ready to go out. That's awesome. Is that the right color lid for him, too? Might be, might not. I'll go double check. Okay. Sounds good. That's awesome. That is a great set. Yeah. Garrett's been working hard on the Bionicle section, so we can check that out if anyone's interested. Oh, there's Joe. Good to see you, Joe. Hope you're doing well. He's, uh, I think he's currently either on his way back or getting back soon. Hashtag armor up. You're right, recurring awesome. We are armored up. We are protected from all magical threats. Oh, Lego Friends. Let's go look at Lego Friends. That's right, Liam Ricks. Will we get tours of the new store as well? Absolutely, Lego Lockin. It's going to be a little while till this new store is open. I'm, we're kind of estimating sometime maybe in May. 
but uh, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, lots of employees. That's right, Joe. Lots of people working Friday. They're keeping pretty busy, though. Steven's building. Andy and Chris are working on sets that have been traded in. John and Michael are working on figures and other stuff, so they're keeping busy. Joe, did you bring back many good treasures from your travels? If, if there's enough Lego stuff to talk about, we might have to do Between the Studs with Joe. It'd be pretty fun. Yeah, Lego Friends looking pretty full as well. Got some good stuff, mostly Lord of the Rings stuff. Ooh, that'd be cool. Mani Raj is here, good to see you. Let's check out the ABC sets. Oh, we could do that, AZ Dave. Let's finish looking at Friends here. Actually, here's a couple of our ABC sets. We have a Friends Battle Mech. Signed that a while ago. Kill them with kindness. You got the uh, expansion uh, pack with the chili. That's Andrea's battle max. Pretty cool. If Grumpy and my permission to open uh, the new store any day you want, except Sunday or Monday. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll keep that in mind there, Brad B. That's good. Lord of the Rings is so lame. Like, no one likes them. Like, crummy redcoats. Exactly. Heart Lake City drama, yes, this is, I love Friends now because, you know, Heart Lake City drama is a thing. There was an episode dropped recently, too, this morning, I think, around 11 a.m., so you can go watch that after the stream. What was the other request we had? Uh, ABC sets, let's go look at some of those. Some of those are back here. I sense 8 a.m. needed at ABC, there you go. There's the Ed figure, that's fun. Got the Witch Doctor from Hero Factory. Got the classic Dalek kits over here. Got gnomes. I think we're a little low on gnomes out here. Still have a few Shroomkin Travelers. That's a really cool set. Oh no, the toilet! Yes, the Ed's Build-A-Potty. Classic, classic Ed. You got plenty of Crankshaft. The Skeleton Road Warrior, the Baby Mech, very popular. There we go. What did I miss? I had to buy that A-Wing. Insert Evil F. No worries, Grumpy J. Glad you were able to retrieve the A-Wing. Oh, there's the Battle Baby's boss tank. I meant I am needed at ABC. Hey, there you go, Lemur Bricks. Hopefully we'll see you around. It wasn't too long ago you were visiting. I think it was like maybe a few weeks or a month. After ABC, we can look at Technic. There you go. Oh, yeah, we can look at Technic. Let's go look at that. Tegan wants to see Technic. Is Ed going to Brickworld Chicago? I don't know, Scott. I don't think so, but we'll see. I know that he wanted to attend more LEGO conventions in general, so we'll see. Him and Vogan are going to be taking care of most of that in the future. We'll see. So. I can check, though, and next time we're doing a stream, I'll let you know. So. Is that a bag of blue coats Chris had still around? It gives me life. <laughs> um, it's probably still around somewhere, Malister. I doubt, uh, you know... Aside from you, I don't think anyone buys blue coats in bulk, so. Any D11s? Ooh, I don't know what a D11 is. You might have to explain that to me. Do you, do you source the pieces for ABC sets from your bulk? Um, not usually. We usually have those separately organized Lego lock-ins. So we have, like, plates and bricks and um, slopes and things like that all set aside in case that there is a set that is missing a piece and we can just replace it, so typically works pretty good. Yeah, I got plenty of Technic. I think we have some box Technic too. Yeah, right up here. The, did the D11, is the Caterpillar Bulldozer the big one? Ooh, I don't know if we have that one right now. Do y'all have Optimus Prime sets still? Yeah, we should have those, Sam. Let me go check and make sure. There's plenty of Technic, uh, Huge Technic Bulldozer, gotcha. Mark, top shelf, we can check. The top shelf. Let's look for um, any Optimus Prime sets. Are we out of... We should have... I felt like we had one or two left. There's a whole stack right over there. Oh, there we go. I see at least five over here. I, they were behind me the whole time. Yes. Yeah, I didn't see any D11s over here for you, Tegan, but uh, check our website if you want to and see if we have any in the box or built or as is in the basement. But there could be one hiding where I didn't see it. 
Everyone's accents are so cute. <laughs> well, thank you, Zara. I appreciate it. Okay. Andy's got quite the Scottish accent if he chooses to break it out, but I think he's focused on cleaning. You got a Scottish accent, don't you, Andy? Oh, there you go. <laughs> on occasion? I love it. I think my camera's a little lopsided here. Hold on. Let's see if I can fix it here. Nope, that didn't help. There we go, okay. Nice hat. Oh, I'm sure Andy appreciates it. AZ Dave, thank you. You liked your hat, Andy. There you go. And there's Chris too. Drop the Chris emoji if you feel like it. There he is. People drop the Daniel emoji very quickly. I'm, I'm impressed. It must be easy to type in there. All right, you got the bookshop, you got the ghost, you got the motorized excavator, and you got the mobile crane set too, which is pretty big and crazy. Awesome, thanks, Mark. I'll probably be picking that up soon. Absolutely, Sam. Appreciate it. Na next Heart Lake City drama episode. Ooh, I think the one that just released this morning is the beach glamping one. There's a, a, a love triangle on the parada paradise lake shores. It's very dramatic. Uh, it ends in disaster, of course. Um, and then uh, the one after that is going to be... What was that? I do have one scheduled. I'm trying to remember what it is, though. But yeah, lots of Star Wars up there. We got a little bit of Harry Potter. That's the Diagon Alley. We got the clone turbo tank. Ooh, a new addition in the form of the haunted house. I'm pretty sure that one is $600. Pretty awesome. We've got the village, we've got the cafe okay. corner, we've got the Lego house duck, and the Bricklink designer program Castle in the Forest by Daniel's hand over there. Can you uh, pull that one out so we can see it, Daniel, once you're done with that? Look at that. That's cool. What's funny is that's actually my Castle in the Forest that uh, was traded to the store, then uh, uh, Martin Harris bought it. Kept it for a while and then traded it in for the Disney train, which is now gone. And so that has uh, traded hands multiple times as a... We did. So, But that physical copy was in my possession for, I'm guessing, a few months. I want to say six to eight months. So if you want a set that was once mine, you got it right over there. And Martin Harris, who's... <laughs> I was about to say, and Martin Harris, who is, like, one of the coolest Lego people ever. So, I mean, you know. We, we, we probably should have had Martin and me sign it at, when he came in yesterday. That was... Exactly. That's hmm? cool. Oh, yeah, the gimbal and the device. Pretty cool. You can see it behind, you can see behind yourself? Oh, just in front. Yeah, so we're doing a live stream. So. Let's see. Steven's expression when Mark called the cast in the forest mine. <laughs> Exactly. Well, it was. At one point, that was uh, the set that was in my possession. It's pretty funny. He did buy it. He did buy it. That was mine. A good friend of mine, uh, Ryan, was able to secure that for me. I traded it for the Metroliner, though, so that's a good set. I'm going to sneak back here. See some of Scott Robinson asks if we have any Deadpool. We can ask. I don't think we do. We, we have some custom ones. Are you going to Brickworld Chicago? I personally am not a uh, Lego lock-in, but I know that we will have a booth there at, for the store. A lot of our t-shirts and Lego watches and, oh, what a mess back there. Look at that. <laughs> All right. So me and Steven are going to be missing it this year, unfortunately. I don't have the travel budget, but uh, Atlanta Brickco will be there, and that'll be fun. So. Has Chris lost weight? I don't know about that, Tegan. Maybe he's hit the gym again, so... All right, where were we on requests here? How much Monkey Kid do we have? I don't think we have that much, Lambert, so we can go look. How much is the turbo tank? Grant, do you know off the top of your head how much the turbo tank is? 800. 800, there you go. Look at that. Mined like a steel trap, that guy. <laughs> Somewhat? Oh, okay. Somewhat like a steel trap. I won trivia last night. It made my week. There you go, Sam. That's awesome. It's hard to win trivia. We got some, uh, oh, idea sets. Let's look for those Lego log, and you're right. Do you have the big Infinity Gauntlet? We should have a few of them around. I don't know if we have it in the box, though. Battle Baby Kits are awesome. My fuzz spot, Fuzzbot army is growing. There you go. 
Yeah, all muscle loss from skipping leg day. Chris does his show muscles. Next weekend is the Brick Convention in Orlando. That should be fun, Brad P. I know that we'll have a booth there, too. Oh, built? Yeah, we can look for built ones. Labor Bricks. Looks pretty thick. Trim now com from the very first video I saw. Yeah, well, if you scroll way back, a couple years back, uh, me, Chris, and Ed, we all look a little different. We've all aged a little bit in the past few years, but... I didn't get tickets, Brad P. Oh, no. What is it? Uh, Grant aspiring to be Joe. <laughs> Grant was like one of the few people I think could possibly replace Joe after years of training. Joe is pretty good. I just need that chrome gold. So these are promotional sets, and um, there's going to be some Lego idea sets. I think actually, was no Transformers wasn't a Lego idea set. There's going to be a few of them over here though. There's the was the queer eye that the Lego ideas or was that icons? Doesn't say. Lego ideas on it, so I'm, I'm not sure. Harley. We've got Seinfeld. That was Lego ideas. I know that for sure. That's good. Mark, sign one high school musical. or oh, sing one high school musical song. Um, let's see. What time is it? Party time. It's our vacation. Actually, that's for summer. It's not quite summer yet, but yeah, you get the idea. Was the Vespa like what it is? No, that was just uh, icons as well. Alrighty. Can you show the custom modulars in the case behind Optus? We can, Cal. It's a great request. They're right next to me here. The current are awesome. I'll be there Saturday afternoon. There you go, Brad P. Let us know how it went. Maybe post a video on your YouTube if you have time. How much is the year of the rat? I think uh, Morgan's got you there. He's he collects those. So. so here are all the super high detail, massive modular buildings we have underneath the city here on display. These are all for sale, but they are very expensive. They're all custom made. They'll have a USB drive with their instructions beneath them too. Isn't there a Lego con in Tampa? There sure is, Grumpy J. That's coming up in August. I will be there. Me and Steven. Monkey Kid and Built Infinity Gauntlet. Let's look for those for Lima Bricks really quick here. Oh man, we might be. Oh no, there's a few Monkey Kids here. We've still got Sandy's Speedboat, which is a pretty interesting set, mostly for that Spider Queen there. She's pretty cool. We've also got the White Dragon Horse Jet, mm. which is interesting. Those Monkey Kid sets have some great designs. I still don't know what they're about, but you know, they're cool looking. And we've got the Infinity Gauntlet in the box over here. How much do we have that for sale for? Eighty dollars in the box. Wow. And I think it's a little bit more affordable once it's built. Let's see if we can find one. Got to go. Oh, we'll see you, Tegan. Thank you for joining us. We sure appreciate it. Yeah, there's no gauntlets over in the Marvel case over here. Let's look over. Don't see. Oh no, here's one. But it's part of. It's sold with the display case, which is 120 for the whole package. So I'm guessing it's cheaper if you get them separately. Not seeing any built right now, though. We have a few built, but they're in the display cases. Got to get, get, get your head in the Nexo game. Not the Nexo game. Oh, no. Nexo Knights are the worst. Aren't they, Michael? <laughs> He's just in Mandalorian zone right over there. Alrighty. Every time y'all mention High School Musical, my only reference is the SNL skit where the guy returns from God and says, nobody else sings. <laughs> yes, that's great, BJ. Oh, there you go. I'm glad I, I, gl glad I was able to yes, spot I'll that. There you go. Check it. Thank you. Thanks, Garrett. That's awesome. Garrett, uh, assembling more Bionicles as we speak. Whole box. Yeah, there's, there was a lot in the basement. It was piling up for a long time. Oh, let's see. I missed a question here. Okay. I gotta find that SNL skit now. Although, yeah, if you look up uh, High School Musical SNL, I'm sure it'll come right up. It's really funny. It actually has the, uh, quite a few of the people. I think it's, um, what's his name? The main actor guy. What's his name? Anyway, so. 
So uh, I saw comments about Steven's books. They're actually down here by some of the DVDs and books we have for sale. So here's Steven's right here with a very cool illustration. And let's see if I can open it up and see. Some cool Lego builds you can check out. So if you want to pick up a copy here in the store or even on Amazon, you can find it. The Inner Workings of a Lego Mind is pretty cool. Is there a custom Predator? Ooh, um, we've sold custom minifigures of the Predator figure before. I think right now we just have the custom alien figures, though. He's pretty cool, but I don't think we have a Predator right now, which would be very cool. Lots of superheroes and villains and sci-fi and pop culture characters here. There's a big Galactus. That's pretty awesome. No Predator that I could see, though. Zach Efron, that's the name. Thanks, Scott. Mark, someone behind the counter had a built World War II prop airplane in their hand. Can you find that? We'll, uh, we'll take a look for you, Brad P. Is there, a, is there a prop airplane back here? Don't, don't see it right now, yeah. Oh, 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 Michael. Let me ask Michael. see what's going on over here. I think he's busy helping a customer. So can we see the Lego Masters Cup? Oh, we can Lego lock in. People don't often ask for that. So thank you. Yeah, we'll go to look at that here. So up in the front area of the store, we've got the amazing Lego Masters trophy. Weighs about 40 pounds. The silver part is only painted. It's not real silver bricks, which would have been cool, but we still like it. Nonetheless, you got the golden brick hanging out on top. Someone has moved the golden brick, though. So I'm going to find out who did and uh, strangle them. <laughs> Everybody hide. Yeah, that's right. Need some next nights on the trophy. Are you kidding me? How much did that cost you guys? Oh, well, just kidding. <laughs> like a lot, kid. Come on. We earned that. It's on display from a generous donor who wanted to make sure people could see it in public. I think, actually, our trophy is the only one you can actually see in a public setting right now. But season four is underway, so we'll see who wins uh, this, the fourth season and what they're able to do. That is really awesome. Lego Masters was so fun to watch. That's awesome, recurring awesome. Yeah, we had a good time on the show, and uh, it's pretty entertaining. I like the Australian version a lot, too. Mark, I just rewatched Lego Masters 2, forgot how funny it was. There you go, Chris Dodson, that's awesome. So we have this cool Batman poster back here. And uh, we also have a signature from Will Arnett, because we were able to help uh, provide some of the bricks for season two and even three. I think we, had, we provided a lot of stuff for season one too, so pretty cool. Minus the court incident, poor Steven, yeah, exactly. We don't talk about the court incident. What built architecture do you have? That's a great request, D. Holden. We'll look at that for a second. I think Chris saw the airplane. Oh, I'll, I'll check with him, AZ Dave. We gotta find that for you. So there's some built architecture and built creator sneaking this way in here too. A lot of white houses. Got Chicago. Got London. Tokyo. A number of very cool things. Hello from Armorella, Texas. Good to see you, Raymond. I'm not late. A wizard arrives exactly when he intends to. Absolutely, Corey. Good to see you. How much for that poster? Oh, I, I don't think it's for sale, Grumpy Jay. That's pretty cool. I think season two had the most talented builders out of any season. I I would say so, Lego Lockin. I, I'm pretty biased, though. Let's see. Gonna visit your store on April 1st week. Looking forward to seeing the Lego Masters Trophy up close again. There you go, Monty Raj. It's cool to see. They should do a Lego Master season where they bring back the winners from every season to compete. They are doing that in Australia for their fifth season. So have a look at that. You can see trailers on YouTube. Maybe we'll catch some highlights. I don't know. If, I don't think we can actually watch it necessarily in the United States live, but it's pretty cool. I think Mark would not make it in High School Musical. <laughs> I would be the janitor. 
built Ninjago Monkey Kid. Let's go look for some of those in, uh, Lima Bricks. And let's check up on the plane right after that because we're looking for uh, AZ Dave on that one. We've got a bunch of built dragons, mechs, and other stuff. There's some Monkey Kid right there. That's pretty cool. A lot of vehicles. Ninjago's mostly vehicles these days. There's a few architectural builds like that. An all-star season at Lego Locket. That would be pretty cool, Sarah. Fingers crossed. We'll see. I think Australia did it after five seasons. They had a bunch of contestants to pull from. Uh, we'll see if uh, Lego Masters United U.S. can, uh, or uh, excuse me, Lego Masters North America can make it to a fifth season. Mark, I can still see the toilet from the viewer discretion advised video. Oh, no. Well, there's our built Ninjago and Monkey Kid. I think we put it all in one section there. We already know who will win you. Well, if me and Steven were both in it together, all the other teams would have a tough time. Not necessarily impossible, but uh, we're, we're just a, we're a little bit of a stacked team with two guys who build Lego every day. We're just really, we're really well trained for this. So. I think Brad P was asking about the plane, and I saw someone showing it to Chris. Okay, AZ Dave will ask. Where did Michael go? There he is. Michael, did we have a prop plane go out? Like a World War II looking plane? Yeah. Can we point that out? Somebody was asking about it on the stream. Yeah. They were interested. Castle Bros in business. Absolutely, Mighty Rush. We have two. Ooh. So the big one up there, which you've had for a while, and then you recently put out this little one here. That is super cool. Looks like a Mustang. $69.99. I love it. That's affordable, too. Nice little stickers on the side. And the wings. Still have a world map for sale. Would you recommend that or a globe as a set to document travels on? Globe is cooler, in my opinion, but the world map is cool, too. I don't see it here, and I think it was right here, so I think we are out right now. Oh, well, there's uh, Steven. Busy building. That's the one price, please. Yes, I think it was 69? Yeah. Yes, 69, so 70 for the plane. That's not cheap, but it's not, uh, not crazy either. Some of those Battle Brick and Brick Mania kits can be crazy. But the map looks like this. It's probably easier on the map since it's a lot more stud space. But the globe is awesome. It's cool to build. So. I want Marcus Steven to build me a Demig Demigorgon in a Batman costume, and I'll put it on my desk. There you go. Well, what I would do is I would buy a Demigorgon kit and then just replace all the pieces with black pieces, and then you'd be good to go. So. Did you ever get the Big Bang Theory set? Um, we've gotten it before. I don't know if we still do. It's getting harder to find. Just need to up your structural game a tad. A little bit, Sarah, that's true. We need to practice with the Technic and the motors. So. If we was at the store, we could actually touch the trophy. Uh, probably not actually touch. We don't want people touching it, but you can definitely get very close to it within an inch, so. Let's see here. Mark, would you and Steven let people hold and take pictures of the Lego Master? No, Raymond, we're not taking another case. Sorry about that. Got a Big Bang Theory set from ABC just recently. Oh, there you go, Scott. That's awesome. Let me check on... Uh... Ooh. Oh, no. Oh. Looks like the uh, the Thor Ragnarok characters already died here too. That's pretty pretty tragic. A dewback? Oh my! That's awesome. Police car. Police car. Perfectly good police car. Tie something there. There you go. Pickerbrick's got some good stuff in it. Good chunks of builds in here. What if I like the trophy case? I wouldn't recommend that Lego lock-in, but <laughs> it's your life. 
All right, we are at 45 minutes. Any other Lego requests? Slave one down. We got a slave one to go. There you go. <laughs> You can breathe in its general direction. Perhaps tap on the glass before being tased by Mark in a bionicle mask and next armor. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we want to leave it in the case, guys. My apologies. But it's easy to see. You can see everything. You see all the figures. Read the text on the bottom. It's pretty cool. Don't worry, Boba. We won't leave you behind. Oh, man. Boba got left behind big time on Tatooine. I'm just saying. Nobody even knew he was alive for like decades. That's pretty tragic. No, it was only like. It was only like a few weeks? I think it was only like a week or two. Oh. Well, this, this is the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it sounds about right. Yeah. Mark, a penny says, I see the basement. Oh, Will Lamb. So we'll have to do a basement tour once it's cleaned up. It's pretty messy right now. We are in the process of organizing everything, so we are very soon be able to show it off in all its glory, but right now we're just a little bit uh, busy working on stuff. So, built camper, camper and RV. Let's look for Scott Robinson over here. Let's see what we got over here. Oh, we got a parrot there. Andy, that's pretty cool. That going out for sale? Yeah, I'm trying to find a place for the trucker, too. Um, gotcha. He's probably going to go in this case because there's already uh, aquarium. Understood. Oh, there's a truck and trailer here. That's pretty cool. That's $40 for that one. Got two RVs here. One looks a little bit more beige than the other. That one's 15 And it looks like it's missing some front pieces, too. The other one is 20 and that looks pretty nice. I want the Demogorgon to wear the man cowl, too. Oh, I don't know about that, Lemur Bricks. That sounds pretty advanced. Sometimes it's hard to get those awesome details in a small space. There's another camper, it was, excuse me, RV right there for 20. Same model again for 20, and one third one down there for 20. There's also a family van for 50. That one's pretty expensive. So there's a couple options for you in here. Not a lot of trailers, though. I saw one nice trailer for, I think it was 40. Here's the ice cream trucks. Road plates, says Lemur Bricks. Uh, we might have a few sets of road plates. Let's see. Let's see if I can find any here. There's a fire station. There's the farm set. That's pretty cool. I think this one is actually retiring soon, which is pretty tragic. Yep, not seeing any road plates, though. You guys have any job openings? Looks like so much fun working there. Although I may be overqualified and underqualified at the same time. <laughs> there you go, Sarah. Yeah, if you're ever interested, go ahead and look up our website in our Contact Us section. You can always fill out a job application there. I don't know if we have any job openings right now. We just hired a few people. So, uh, but you can always uh, check there and uh, submit an application. Uh, you can also look to uh, trade stuff there, too. Lego City Sets. We were just there, Con uh, Connor, but we could circle back in a second. They should have the winners of each season build the trophy for the next season. That'd be interesting, Lego lock and That'd be pretty cool. Look at Pastor Michael going out doing the work. There you go. <laughs> exactly. You have a custom moon girl. Oh, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about, Liam Briggs. Are you talking about like a Sailor Moon? I don't think we have any of those right now. Let's see, best re wizard minifig you have in stock. That's a good question. Recurring awesome. We can go look for those. Lego Ninjago J Walker one set. Ooh, um, we got the J Lightning Jet. Or excuse me, J Stormfighter. Wrong name. Don't think we have the. Jay's mech, though. Don't see it here. This is looking a little bit like a... That's kind of a pathetic dragon. Maybe you could mock build it to be better. Jay's mech. Jay's mech. I see a couple Jay vehicles. Jay dragon. Don't see any Jay mech. 
All right. Let's look for Lego Wizards here for Recurring Awesome. So a classic choice for a wizard minifigure is Magisto, but those uh, classic eyes don't match with newer minifigures, so that's not always the best option. Um, another good selection is typically the Fantasy Era Wizard, but I'm not seeing him out right now. There's a bunch of different promotional style wizard figures that have made their way out for sale in the past two, like from the chess sets and other ones. So I'm not seeing them out here right now, which is kind of surprising. But uh, they might be on atlbrick.com under Castle Minifigures. So. We'll have to see if we can source more wizard-style figures for you soon. Do you guys organize work pieces too then? Oh, no, Sarah. I don't think we do out-of-country workers yet. The Marvel character. Oh, oh. Moon Girl. I thought there was a Moon Knight, but I don't know about Moon Girl. We have a custom... I forget her name, but she's right here, and she has those awesome golden wings. She's from Moon Knight. I don't see the Moon Knight character here. Oh, no, no, no. There's Moon Knight with a black lightsaber. I don't know what that's about. So he's there. I see a spot for the other Moon Knight, but uh, he is not available. The classic one with the white outfit. Do you happen to sell Lego Heroica? Yes, we do, Prop Wizard. Let's go look at some Heroica stuff over here. Going to be any more Technic Monster Jam trucks? I have five. <laughs> there might be, Dan. You never know. Thanks for the wizards. Do you have the golden anniversary ninjas? I'm missing Zane and Nia or Nia. That wave seemed short lived. Yeah, they went. Uh, they, they came and went pretty quickly. Recurring awesome. We'll check on that for you. Let's look at Heroica really quick. Then we we'll head over and look at golden ninjas as well. Looking forward to the new location in Florida. Me too, Ryan. Me too. It'll be fun. Marks needs to burn the trash armor. <laughs> Not burn, but uh, maybe we, after a certain like threshold, we get rid of it. Like after 50 likes, we decide to lose it and put on the Bionicle mask or something. Here's a couple Heroica sets here. That's pretty nice. This is the Fortan expansion pack, I believe. We got the Heroica Nathus set. So that's pretty cool. And... Um, here's a small Heroica set. That's a uh, Dradia. Pretty cool. And I think we got the bigger Heroica set. That's the Heroica case here. You can put all your Heroica stuff in this very heavy leather strap case here. I think this is the main game, if I'm not mistaken. No, this is another Fortan. Let's see, what is this? There's a Waldirk. It's pretty cool. We might be lacking the main game, which would be kind of sad, but there's Ilrion, another expansion. So we have, like, all the expansion packs, but I don't see the main game here. we we'll definitely check on our website, atlbrick.com, and see what else we have. I think the Moon Knight character's name is Layla. That's right, Mani Raj, that's right. That sounds correct to me. Is it Nexo Armor time? Oh, so Grumpy J, we got that on pretty early. We're already at 50 likes. Yes, can't wait to live in the Orlando store. <laughs> there you go, recurring awesome. Really wish they would return to Heroka or a similar theme. Yes, I think there's a big demand for that kind of stuff. I know they're doing a D&D &D set, but will that be enough? Maybe? We'll see. <laughs> Darn bathroom break. No worries, Grumpy J. We still got five minutes left on the stream. Heading out, Chris? I'm heading out, yeah. I got a brisket on the grill. Oh. Uh, better go take care of that. Yeah. Thanks, Chris. We'll see you. Oh, so Lyrabricks, we looked at the Moon Knight figures. They, uh, We did have Layla in her armor. So, assuming you don't have a Moon Girl, but do you have the Red Boxer? Huh. I don't know which Red Boxer character this is. I'm guessing it's Marvel? There's only one theme worth returning to, that is blue coats. 
We can go look at blue coats for your monster. I don't know if we have any right now, though. We'll check. Can you tell Steven that I got his book and it's very good? I can tell him, William. Lemur Bricks is no CMF. Oh, okay. There you go. We can check on that for you, Lemur Bricks. So you got the blue coat soldiers over here. I don't know if we have any blue coat sets right now. We are pretty low on those. We have this guy who comes in every now and then and buys all the blue coat stuff. And so we just haven't been able to keep it in stock. We do have a number of pirate sets, though. Sure, I left my brisket on the grill. Likely story. No, uh, so I, I believe in Recurring Awesome. He was uh, talking about... Uh, he went around lunchtime and flipped it. He's been, he's been cooking it, slow cooking it all day. So hopefully uh, it turns out very good for him. <laughs> I'll just make a custom moon girl. Okay, Liam Bricks. I'm sure it'll be cool. Harry Potter is number one. I, I can understand that, Di uh, Diana. They are really cool sets. And they have lots of cool sets. That's a nice thing. There's lots of Harry Potter available. Some guy, geez, must be a scalper. <laughs> no, I, I don't know about that, Morgan. Oh, excuse me. Don't know about that, uh, Grumpy J. Sorry. I'm confusing your names now. Yeah, you only have a couple, and that bag you hit for me, not long, though. I am coming, comrades. One day, Malastir, I'm sure you'll own all of our blue coat soldiers. Alrighty. Four more minutes left. Actually, three and a half minutes left. Any final thoughts, Ethan? Ants. Ants? <laughs> That's the only reason why? Ants? Okay. Better taller employee? Uh oh. Do we need to measure you guys again? <laughs> Not official? Oh, oh okay. Grant, Grant doesn't recognize it? Okay. I'm the biggest Swifty, so I think. Yeah, that's good. And I'm the second best password. Sounds good. Oh, Grumpy J's drop, uh, dropping the Grant emoji. Grant, uh, Grant and Vogan. Harry Potter is one of the best series, but I hate it now because they changed the dang Hogwarts roof colors. Yeah, I would have stuck with either gray or sand green. They, maybe mix the two? I don't know. Is Chris's brisket an excuse to skip leg day again? <laughs> it might be, Malister. Next time I come to see, come to ABC, I'll tell you who Moon Girl is. Okay. Sounds good, Lima Bricks. Looking forward to it. Hit the like button. Thanks, T Valkyrie. We can get a few more likes, I know it. You have 53 people watching and 49 likes. I mean, that's pretty close. That's not bad. We'll take it. Alrighty, any last LEGO requests? We still got just a few minutes to talk about stuff and check out anything that's in the store. Um, as always, you can find m most of our stuff on our website, atlbrick.com. So go ahead and head there if there's anything else you are missing. Harry Potter is Kerpla. Uh, Valdi got beat up by a bunch of kids and couldn't take over a high school. Lame. Oh no, Malister. I think it's a cool story. Now, please ask what Steven is building. Oh, he's working on a custom military vehicle of unspecified origin. That's all we can say, though. Highly classified. Highly classified. I'm not going to show you what he's building, but he is building something cool. It's a exactly. It's a collaboration with something. How many subscribers and how many members does ABC have? Uh, so we have 7,200 subscribers which is a great amount. It's been growing every day. We sure appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. To bump those numbers up. Bump those numbers up. We got to keep getting those subscribers. Oh, yeah, it's like the 10K. And then um, we've also got over 50 members in our membership program, and many of them have figures in the city. So it's pretty cool. Ethan's, um, yeah, uh, Grant, you're out there. You're, I am? you're walking down the street with Jacob. Oh, really? You ever yeah, see that? With Jacob. No, yeah. I mean, yeah, you have to go check it out. You're, 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 you're easy to spot because you have tall legs. Oh, right. <laughs> That's me on top of the town hall, right? It is, I believe. We put Ethan's figure out there, too. I think he's about to kill to Darth kill Vader. Yeah. He's about to kill Jar Jar. <laughs> exactly. All right. <laughs> he's trying to make sure he does the job, you know? Yeah. Exactly. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. We are at the 60-minute mark, so we're going to log off here for the day, but we've got so many more cool YouTube videos coming out Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and another week of LEGO fun happens. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you then. Bye-bye, guys.